I am Anil Kumar and before we begin to solve trigonometric equations, let us try to understand how to find x and y intercepts for trigonometric function. In this particular video, we will see how to determine y intercept of a transform trigonometric function. So y intercept means what? When I say y intercept, it means what? It means where the graph crosses y axis where you know x is equal to 0. So basically, if I substitute x equals to 0, I get y intercept. So to find y intercept, I should just substitute x equals to 0 in whatever equation or expression I have. So here we have minus sine and let me use square brackets and we have x minus pi by 6. So instead of x, I will write 0 minus pi by 6, right? Plus 1. Do you get the idea? So that is my function. So 0 minus pi by 6, you know, is indeed just sine of minus pi by 6, correct? Plus 1. And sine of minus theta is minus sine theta, right? So we get minus of minus, let me write like this, sine pi by 6. Since sine is an odd function, do you understand that aspect? So we get here sine pi by 6 plus 1. So that is how we can actually uh, solve this. I hope you understand the steps, right? So this concept of sine of minus theta equals to minus sine theta can be clear to you by taking, uh, you know, the sine function is kind of like this, right? So I purposely drawn here. So these values are symmetric, right? So sine of minus theta is same as plus theta. So, so they are symmetric. So we know sine of theta equals to, I mean, minus sine of theta. No, I can write this as minus sine theta. So that is what we used here. Okay. So the value we have to calculate is, we are saying y intercept is at sine pi by 6 plus 1. Now what is sine pi by 6? Let me, we can use calculator at this stage, find sine pi by 6. Or, I prefer to use these special triangles. Let's get used to them now. So, that is pi by 3. This is pi by 6, correct? So, pi by 6, opposite side is 1, hypotenuse 2. This is square root 3. So, that one is half for us. So, the y-intercept is at half plus 1, which is 3 over 2, right? So, y-intercept is over 3 over 2. We can write our answer as 0 for x value and 3 over 2 for y value, right? So that becomes the y intercept for this transform trigonometric expression. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.